Hello, welcome to another App Store optimization session with Incipia. Today's topic is going to be A-B testing the title of an Android app, how to do this. So here we are in our Google Play console uh, for one of our uh, games that we've released, Roots. Check it out, cool game. Um, but uh, the, the way to do this, so um, quick backstory is that you cannot A-B test the title of an app. You can A-B test the short description, the full description, the screenshots, the feature graphic, the video, uh, essentially everything except for the title. But naturally the title is a very important piece of keyword optimization and therefore ASO for an Android app. So how do you go about testing the title? Uh, one option, uh, the, the option that we're going to be talking about is essentially just pre-post analysis. Um, that's just looking at the change um, of downloads, conversion rate, uh, store listing visits before and after a change is made. We talk often about this, um, and it's just measuring the lift or decline in performance. So in order to do this, um, we're going to go to the store listing, and you'll need to localize or create a translation for each of the main English markets. Oops. So we're going to go to add your own translation text and we'll select um, the main English markets that we'll be able to use to test the impact of a different title. Um, so we're just going to go with Australia, Canada, and the UK. You can try a few other ones. I think there's even New Zealand in here now. Uh, Google recently released a slew of new languages and localization support, which has been pretty nice. Um, so we'll start with these, and then what we're going to do is just copy the text over into each of the localizations by default. And you can see that the little star here requires that the text assets be filled out uh, for each localization. But you can leave the image assets, so the, the screenshots, the feature graphic, the icon the same. So because these are all English, we don't need any translations. Naturally, there are going to be nuances between uh, dialects and uh, vocabulary and even slang for each of these localizations, these countries. But uh, for the purposes of, of this particular uh, video and showing you how to A-B test the title, not necessarily to delve into those. So what we're going to do is, first off, mark today in the calendar. So we have April 27th. And we're going to be looking at the, the change before and after today. So the one to four weeks, depending on um, how much data you have available and how many impressions and installs you have. The more volume you have, the less time period is really necessary to see whether a change was had. The less data you have, the further back you'll want to go. Uh, so more data, uh, one week may be fine, less data, uh, 28 days or 14 days may be better. The other caveat is that Google, the algorithm change that happened in February 2017 really caused a significant ruckus in keyword ranking abilities. Keywords are bouncing around like crazy these days, and so um, it may take some more time for a title change to settle down and for the keywords there um, to arrive at their final resting place, if you will. So what we're going to do is just change the title in each of these, these localizations. So instead of touch puzzle, we'll do, and granted, this is just for the purposes of showing um, how to do this more, more so than the actual optimization itself. Of course, we want to research the keywords, ensure that what we're putting in here is something that's going to be very relevant for the app, has low competition, and has high search, popular, or search volume. Um, 
So let's just say one touch in Australia. And uh, let's see, roots pack flip. Interesting. So Google now lets you go over and uh, just indicates that you have only a certain number of characters remaining. Um, side scroller. Okay, so in the UK, we're going to be seeing whether the keywords and the, the long tails for side scroller improve after this date. In Canada, we're looking for zigzag. Uh, puzzle remains in there, or zigzag puzzle. In AU, we're going to be looking for one touch. And in English, the US, we're going to be seeing just what the change uh, ends up being and using that as a benchmark. So once you push this live, then you're going to want to go to, in the days after, you're going to go to acquisition reports. You can also look at um, store chart ratings, top chart, uh, to see whether before and after your uh, rating, or your, sorry, your, your ranking, so ranking for arcade games, improves in each of the countries. So Canada, AU, UK, if it goes down, it's really the end result of getting fewer installs as compared with your competitors. If it goes up, then it means that you're getting better installs and better retention rate and, and all that good stuff and that it was a good keyword change. So you're going to be looking at the data after the 27th here. So we'll pull you know, the data from the 20th to the 26th, so the 13th to the 26th, and then we'll look at the 28th on so say that we did the change on the 19th, then we would look at, and granted there's not a whole lot of data here, uh, but we would if the change happened on the 19th, then we would look at the 12th, 13th, some of the data here, 14th, 15th, and so on, up to the, the 18th here. Um, and then we would look at the 20th through the 26th and say, okay, uh, for easier analysis or easier sake for the video, let's say that we made the change on the 16th. So, all right, we had 13 visitors and one install before. And then afterwards, we had 19 visitors and zero installs. So if, if we did see the installs increase, then we could say that, oh, sorry, critical critical point here is to look at the particular country that the optimization was made in. So we have the US. So once again, go to acquisition reports, click this drop down, go from acquisition channel to country. Then look at the particular country that you're up that you're localizing for. So you want to find the UK, Australia, and Canada here. It looks like we actually don't even have any downloads for any of those. Um, so that's, uh, that's the way to A-B test the title, just using localizations, making a change in a localization that has the same uh, language, and determining whether your installs, your store listing visitors, your conversion rate improves once you make that keyword change. And then if you see good results from a particular localization, then you can push those, you can have more confidence in pushing that uh, optimization into your US title. and you know, gaining the benefit from title, title ranking strength for that keyword in the U.S. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Sign up to our email list to get uh, our weekly digest of posts from Incipia and around the web. Follow us on Twitter and bookmark incipia.co slash posts. We'll see you again soon.